Hi, I'm Noel Valeri. I'm a 14-year resident of Coal Valley. I'm a musician, filmmaker, and lifelong lover of French toast. If you don't know where Coal Valley is, it's a neighborhood in San Francisco that's south of the infamous Haight-Ashbury district, just east of Golden Gate Park. The neighborhood is pretty much centered around one residential commercial corridor, which runs the length of Coal Street between Carl Street and Parnassus Ave. All the food that I'm gonna to sample today is from those restaurants that are in Coal Valley proper. Coal Valley is pretty much a brunch haven. You can get brunch pretty much any day of the week. As a French toast lover in this neighborhood, I've always wanted to try doing something like this. So today I've decided I would sample all seven varieties of French toast available in Coal Valley. So here's today's lineup. Crepes on Coal's standard or regular French toast, cinnamon twist challah bread dipped in egg, milk, orange juice, and vanilla, topped with fresh berries and banana. Crepes on Coal's fancy French toast, challah bread stuffed with mascarpone cheese, topped with lemon curd, fresh berries, and banana. La Boulangerie's croissant French toast, with fresh berries and maple syrup. Bambino's cornflake crusted brioche French toast, including ricotta cheese, dried apricots, cranberries, and currants. Reverie's cinnamon challah French toast with fruit compote and syrup. Zazie's bandami French toast. Orange cinnamon batter topped with fresh seasonal fruit. Zazie's French toast Tahiti. Pandemi French toast stuffed with caramelized bananas and walnuts. I defined a few metrics of how we're going to evaluate each um, serving of French toast from each different place. First one is chew, which is the quality of chewing the French toast. The second metric we're gonna do is the sweet and savory balance, which is really, to me, is critical for French toast. The final metric we're gonna use is coherence, basically how the entire thing tastes together and just the feeling. So one of the things I'm not really judging on today is presentation. We got all this takeout, so it's the best we could configure it from takeout boxes at home. Okay, before we get going, one more thing. Full disclosure, um, this project is completely unsolicited. None of the restaurants ask me to review their food. Um, none of the uh, servers or uh, owners of restaurants uh, know about the fact that I'm doing this and um, they probably don't necessarily want me doing this, but surprise, it's my party and I'll eat all the French toast in Coal Valley if I want to. French toast! In front of me I've got Crepes on Coal's French toast, the plain French toast as opposed to the fancy French toast. So this is the first one I'm going to try, Let's see how this goes. Get some butter on there. Mmm. Really good. Chew quality is excellent. Not too stiff, but not too airy. Um, very nice. As far as sweet, savory balance is concerned, this is a really good balance. It's got the sweetness of the syrup is balanced out by like the saltiness of the butter. The actual toast itself is kind of neutral, but it's got a little bit of sweetness, but not too much. The berries are, again, neutral, not too sour, not too sweet. Very good season for berries right now in San Francisco. Coherence overall, everything fits really well together. The fruit, the syrup, the butter, and then the toast itself, the chewiness. It just has a very good coherence. Again, this is the standard French toast from Crepes on Coal. All right, so next up, we have the second contender from Crepes on Coal. This is the fancy French toast, as opposed to the standard or regular French toast. It has the addition of mascarpone cheese, which is, you know, very exciting. Mm. Very different, very different. The, it's definitely, the mascarpone definitely change, completely changes the taste. It's got that um, cheese Danish kind of flavor. So it completely changes the entire scope of what this is. As you would expect, it has a lot more like of a juicy texture to it. So as far as sweet savory balance, I'd say this pushes pretty far towards the, the sweet category. Um, it's almost a little too much. Uh, the berries are great. They're the same berries as the standard regular French toast from Kreps. It's just, it's a different animal completely. Not too sweet. It doesn't make you want to eat a pretzel, but it's definitely way more sweet than the other. And uh, as far as coherence is concerned, 
it's not as as coherent as the other French toast, although it does have a, a really good balance of texture and flavor. Okay, next up we have the croissant French toast from La Boulangerie. I'm um, gonna give this a try. Oh yeah, way different. As far as the chew is concerned, I think it's it's more chewy than the other ones. It's definitely more sweet than most of the other ones. Almost pastry-like, which we'd kind of expect from a French bakery. Let's add in some of this. The berries are a little more sour, so they kind of balance things out a little bit. Um, but still very, very sweet. Coherence-wise, I would say that in itself it's very coherent. The flavors kind of mix well with each other. It's not something I would seek out as my only um, breakfast. Okay, next up we have Bambino's Cornflake Crusted Brioche French Toast. Now, this looks completely different than anything else I've tried. So I'm gonna just spread the, it comes with ricotta cheese. That's the primary kind of um, sauce, condiment, if you will. It didn't come out with any syrup, which is interesting. Um, that's the only one that didn't come with syrup. Some people like powdered sugar on French toast only. Some people like syrup. It's all personal preference, but this is way different because ricotta cheese. It also has currants and apricots and cranberries. So it's gonna be exciting. A little more of the ricotta. Wow, that's really different. Not not what you would expect. Definitely the really, really corn flavored from the corn. Mm. Oh yeah, the dried fruit really adds something to it too. As far as French toast is concerned, the chew is not traditional at all. It's completely different. As far as just food in general, it's incredible. <laughs> the chew is just like something I've never had before, and it's really really exciting the sweetness is definitely less sweet than everything else um it's definitely not very sweet it's actually good that way though i don't think i would we might want to try might want to try a little bit of syrup you want to try some syrup on it yeah maybe we'll try some syrup on it and then you know maybe we'll see what the change is okay i'm gonna put a little bit of syrup on this this is zazi syrup just to try it out see what it would taste like with just a little more sweetness if it would ruin it or if it would help Let's see, and try this out. You know, it does add something. It is a little sweeter. It's good. It's not necessary, but it does add flavor to it. Mmm. Yeah, it's tasty. I would say that it does, it does improve it to have syrup on it. I'm not sure if they just didn't give me syrup or they just don't serve syrup with this. I can understand if they didn't, because it's got its own unique flavor, but it definitely adds something to put syrup on it. A sweet, savory balance. It definitely goes much more towards the savory, um, if that's what you're looking for. Usually you don't French toast, you want more of a balance, but if that's what you're looking for, this is your this is your dish. Adding the, the syrup, I just got this syrup from Zazi, but um, adding a little bit of Zazi syrup actually um, gave it a little more of a, of a balance um, onto the sweeter side, but not sweet, definitely not sweet. But really, a really interesting version of French toast, completely unique. Awesome. Next up we have Reverie's Cinnamon Hala French Toast. So this is more of a standard type of French toast as you would expect. Um, it's got some fruit compote on the top, put a little bit of syrup. Let's give it a shot. Hmm. Yep. Definitely the most French toast of the bunch. I prefer my French toast a little more chewy than this is. Flavor-wise, the syrup makes a nice balance with the, the toast itself. I gotta be honest, I'm not a real big fan of this compote. It tastes a little bit sour and not it doesn't really add anything. I would just just scrape it off and not eat it. Coherence overall, I'd say it's pretty good coherence. Um, it's got that nice that nice balance with the syrup. I think this the syrup adds a lot, but the compote doesn't. So it's really kind of your basic French toast. It's not, it's nothing fancy. It's it's def, it's definitely just more basic. So this is Zazi's Pandemi from. Uh, wait, it's Pandemi. Wait, say it again. P 
Pain. Pain. Demi. 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 Pain de me. Pain de me. Good. Bon. All right. Zazie's pain de me. <laughs> so they have two different versions of French toast at Zazie. This and the French toast Tahiti. So this one is the more kind of standard French toast, but it's, they definitely make it special with just the fruit by itself. You got some pineapple and you got different kinds of melon and some mango in there. Pretty awesome. Oh, and strawberry, of course. Mmm. Oh, that's good. I would say the chew is excellent. It's got that really nice chew. Not too chewy, not too airy. So definitely the chew quality is up there. The sweet savory balance is kind of perfect. I'm gonna actually try it with some of the fruit here. We'll try it with that mango. Yeah, the tropical fruit's definitely not my preference, but I mean, I could see this being exciting to some people. Definitely as far as coherence is concerned, it's right on the money with the exception of those tropical fruits that I'm, I don't prefer, but I do like this a lot. It's definitely way up there. This is Zazie's French Toast Tahiti. Um, it's got caramelized bananas and walnuts. The filling is something that I really like. Um, I was That's why I got two pieces of this particular French toast because I wanted to make sure that that was there. Let's give it a shot. Zazie's French Toast Tahiti. You know, that's magical. It's really got a lot of flavor. As far as the chew is concerned, it's probably among the best. It's just a really nice, solid texture. I think where the, the French Toast Tahiti really wins is the coherence, because there's all these different flavors. Caramel, uh, bananas, the walnuts, and the, the bread itself, which is um, different than the other breads that we've dealt with because they're less crust. Had to be. Now there's something to be said about Zazie's syrup. It's really well balanced it's not too sweet it really doesn't push it in one direction or the other so it's a really really nice combination of flavor I've always wanted to do this. These are my two favorites in the neighborhood currently. Wow. Head to head. Here we go. They're so different. They're both awesome and they're so different. This is Kreps, standard regular French toast. I think honestly this is like the perfect French toast. This is kind of just has everything balanced out. The fruit's not overwhelming. The syrup um, doesn't add too much sweetness. It binds perfectly with it. Um, so this is like definitely my number one French toast as far as flavor, texture, coherence is concerned. Chew. Um, this is just something else. This is. This is like dessert, but like the best possible dessert. This is almost like bread pudding. That's that's kind of what I'm tasting here. Usually when I get uh, French toast tahiti at Zazi, I usually couple it with a la mer, which is um, a Dungeness crab, and sometimes in the off season, lobster, eggs benedict, um, and usually two pieces. The nice thing about Zazi is they offer um, the way that you can have one piece, you can have two pieces with the French toast and the Benedict. So you can have, you know, kind of best of both worlds. It's more expensive, obviously, but it's definitely that balance. But if you want to get like standard, like basically perfect French toast, this is where you want to go. Crepes on coal, standard French toast. So it's really nothing different than I thought, but I was really fun to tour around and try everybody's French toast and the seven options we have in the neighborhood. And just to really just put them head to head and see what, what's what. And I was kind of confirmed what I thought before, but 
just wanted to make sure and, you know, see what the options were out there.